A new story of the murder of dictator Kim Jong-un's brother has come to the fore, known about assassins. Los Angeles. In 2017, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un's half-brother, Kim Jong-nam, was attacked with a nerve agent at the international airport in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's capital. On this matter, American film director and documentary maker Ryan White has made a documentary called Assassins, in which many aspects related to the murder of Kim Jong-nam have been investigated. Many shocking revelations have also been made in this documentary, because Ryan has also shown in this documentary that two women who were caught on charges of murder and then released. Murder happened four years ago. Kim Jong Nam was attacked by a VX nerve agent at the Malaysia's capital, Kuala Lumpur's international airport, killing him seconds later. This entire incident was captured in the CCTV camera. And thus, the names of two women, Siti Asya of Indonesia and Don Ti Hung of Vietnam, were revealed, who were seen spraying nerve agents named Kim Jong. Both women were taken into custody, although he was going to get the death penalty according to Malaysian law, but after the story he told, he was released in the year 2019. Actually, both of them did not even know what they were doing, because both were given the assurance that both are participating in a TV reality show. North Korean agents gave a hoax. Later, it was learned that North Korean agents had carried out the murder by taking them under the guise. City Asia was released in March 2019 and Don Ti Hung in May. The ongoing murder charge against City was withdrawn and Hung received a minor punishment. Tractor Parade Violence Delhi Police appeals to the people sought information related to the violence in the tractor parade. Now comes the second story. American film director Ryan White has given prominence to the events following the release of both women and his documentary. Its name is Assassins. This documentary film has been released today in theatres and on demand video platforms. Although it has also included the scenes of the murder of Kim Jong Nam, Doan has also raised objections to some sort of this documentary. During a conversation with Ryan, Doan said that after his return to Vietnam, life has become very strange. Because when she reached Vietnam, she met people with a smile. In such a situation, people feel that I did all the, that intentionally, and I have no regrets about it. The truth is that I was glad to have reached my native land, but found it in a different sense. That's why I am still a target of people. Ryan also said that both are happy to be freed from the cases against them, but it is also true that their life cannot be the same.